Hi Dr. Gilmore fans, this is Watson. I've been doing some editing lately for the channel, and I was surprised to discover that Dr. Gilmore has his own brand of multivitamins. I'm really into vitamins and supplements for sports, and he was kind enough to send me a sample to try for myself, so I'm going to review them today. The multivitamin is called Meta 7, because it has 7 vitamins. Makes sense. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the 7 ingredients, and then tell you about my experience with it this past week. So. I intentionally avoided Dr. Gilmore's and others' testimonials because I wanted to do my own research and approach it with an open mind. Number 1. B12. B12 is in a lot of energy drinks and supplements including 5-hour energy. Almost 40% of people are B12 deficient. It's known to provide a boost of energy. There are four different types of B12, and they're not all equal. The one you'll find most often in supplements and energy drinks is called cyanocobalamin. I think I'm saying that right. It's easily and cheaply synthesized, but the catch is it has a cyanide molecule attached to it that your body has to detach and process before you can get to the good stuff. It's a very small amount of cyanide, but it's still your body has to expend resources and energy to get rid of it, so it seems like if there was a better alternative you might as well go with that, which is what Dr. G did. Meta 7 has the more stable and bioavailable methylcobalamin which also happens to be quite a bit more expensive to make, but I'm going to say it's probably worth it. B6 is a nice complement to B12. It helps with neurotransmitters, mental health, libido, your sleep-wake cycle, appetite regulation. It's a good one. On to vitamin D. It's thought that almost a billion people in the world are vitamin D deficient. We're built to make it from the sun, so it's a lot harder to get from food and supplements. People with darker skin and the elderly are at higher risk of being vitamin D deficient. Magnesium. So the first three might have seemed like obvious additions to a multivitamin, but magnesium seems to be highly underrated for how important it is. From an athlete's perspective, the benefits that stand out to me are muscle and nerve function, metabolism, and protein synthesis. Chromium. This one's super important too, and I think often overlooked, but you only need small amounts of it. I feel like chromium is one of those synergy minerals that plays well with others. It also tends to be pricey and hard to get from food. Broccoli is probably the best source of it, but to get to your daily value, you'd have to eat something like seven cups of broccoli. That's a lot of broccoli, even if you like broccoli, which I do, but I'm not eating that much of it. The next two ingredients don't have a daily value assigned to them yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if alpha-lipoic acid became much more popular in the near future. It's an antioxidant found in and made by the body, and is in just about every cell. It attacks free radicals, and unlike vitamin C, which is another great antioxidant, and is water-soluble, alpha-lipoic acid is water and fat-soluble, so it's used all over. It's thought to even bind with heavy metals, which could be very important in detoxifying the body. There's a lot of research being done on it right now, especially in Europe. It's being looked at for helping with diabetes and glaucoma, and a whole bunch of other things. Antioxidants help rid the body of waste byproducts from energy production. So if you have a supplement that boosts your metabolism, it would make sense to have antioxidants to help get rid of the byproducts. And last but not least, coenzyme Q10, which helps in metabolism to convert food to energy. It's supposed to help immune function, increase male fertility, and it's even being evaluated as part of treatment for Parkinson's disease. So did it work for me? Well the bottom line, yeah, actually. I can't say that I was super surprised after reading the ingredients, but it did definitely surpass my expectations. I normally drink like two cups of coffee in the morning, but I decided to be somewhat scientific. So every day I woke up, had half a cup of coffee, a banana, a full glass of water, and a Meta 7. Then a couple hours later, I would eat lunch early, then an early dinner, and then one more small meal before bedtime. The first day, I noticed a boost of energy similar to a 5-hour energy, but without the jittery, tweaky feeling of it. I felt more energized than I would have expected all day long, because usually I'll have like an energy drink or something in the afternoon, but I didn't, and didn't really notice that I didn't either. The next six days were pretty similar, I just didn't notice as much of a rush in the morning, 
but I felt like I had energy longer throughout the entire duration of the day up until when I was ready to go to sleep.